Hello uh, everyone, my name is Veer Kumar Patil and I am back with another video. So in this video, uh, we are going to see how you can set up a DeepSeq R1 on your local machine using Olama and how you can use Open Web UI to communicate with Olama where Open Web UI will be uh, run as a Docker image or a container image uh, but we are using Podman to run it uh, on your local. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'll just uh, quickly go to the browser and uh, let's see um, where it is. I think so. This is the website of Olama. So you can just get started with very few steps. You just need to click on download. It will, you know, download one, uh, you know, a package for you on your local machine, and you just need to install uh, based on your operating system. So I have done this particular step already, so I'll not, uh, you know, go over there. So uh, on this models page, you can find the list of models that are available. So I'm interested in DeepSeq. I'm running it on local. So I'll just click on this and you could see different options available. For, you know, to speed up the stuff, I am using this Olama run uh, DeepSeq R1 1.5 billion uh, uh, tune parameter tune model uh, okay uh, I'll just copy this command and I'll just go to the command prompt let me just see first olama ps so if you could see there are no uh, things that are running on my machine so I'll just execute this so it will start running this particular model so I uh, this model is downloaded on my machine locally that's why I'm able to see the message directly if this model was not there it will first download that particular image and then it will start so just to check whether it's giving you the input let's say hi and see if you could see it gives a reply hello how I assist you today uh, that means we are able to run the model on local now the next step is to run uh, the open web ui okay so for that what i'll do i'll just go ahead and create a new folder called as mkdir the name of the folder is open web ui uh, so basically uh, this is needed for volume mount uh, for uh, for the container that we are going to run. So the container uh, name is uh, GH. So basically, so the name of the image is uh, Open Web UI. Mean uh, we wanted to do the port forwarding that is on 3000 of the host to inside port of 8080 volume mount to the folder that we had created just now. And we are just going to hit it. Okay, so if you could see it has started running the image. Now let's see uh, on the browser uh, whether we are able to, you know, run that particular stuff. We are able to see the open web UI or not. So if you could see, it says it's, uh, it's running. Now let's see uh, whether I'm able to log in. I had created an account already. Let me see if I can utilize the same. So if you could see it says logged in and it detected that particular model and we can chat with this. So let's say I wanted to write a code to sort an array in Java of given sides. So if you could see it is thinking and based on its thinking it will give you an output. So if you could see it has given you the what what he has thought uh, you know the code the explanation of the code example usage and note 
no so it, it is pretty detailed on what you had asked uh, and it is very thorough with the output okay so that's it for this video guys thank you thanks for watching